ST space FTD, it will provide you the FTD technology status. Here we can able to get the admin status whether it is locked or unlocked and operational status whether it is enabled or disabled and also we will get the sector details also like sector 1, sector 2, sector 3. DIF space 854 is a proxy value, space 879 is a also proxy value. You may get the difference between these two proxy values. If you want to compare two proxy values, you can use this command. AL, it will provide you the brief description of the alarm, like disconnected, resource allocation failure, hardware fault, and so on. ALA, which is used to provide the detailed alarm description, like uh, ALT. The major alarms are disconnected, resource allocation failure, and the minor alarms are hardware fault, loss of sync, reference redundancy. It is due to replacement unit problem with the synchronization. LGA, it will provide the log details of the RBS. Here, TU sync reference loss of signal, sync reference not reliable, these are the main problems. The causes are clock synchronization problem. LG also used to get the log details of the RBS. Here, A means alarm log, X means active alarms, E means even log, V availability log, S system log. P postmortem dumps, U upgraded logs, D downtime log, O MO command log, and Q for MO command log. If you want to get the tracking area code, you can use this command get space dot space TAC tag, that is tracking area code. Four indicates the tracking area code. If you want to change the tracking area code, you can use the command E set one space E tron cell FDD space TAC space four. You can modify the value from four to five, five to two, as like the configuration requirement. If you want to get the center frequency, you will use get space dot space EAR FCN. By using this command, you may get the center frequency ranges, which includes uplink and downlink frequencies in megahertz range also. The below diagram indicates uplink and downlink frequency in megahertz, and also the technology also mentioned there. If you want to get the bandwidth of the technology, you may use get space dot space band. It will provide the list of frequency band is allocated for the technology in the RBS. Here uplink frequency is 10 MHz, whereas downlink frequency is also 10 MHz for the cell number 21. Here 10,000 is mentioned as heads. If you want to change the frequency and the bandwidth, you will use this command get space dot space DA channel that is a downlink channel, get space dot space uplink channel, ST space cell, then block the proxy value, then set the E uteran cell FDD space 31, then downlink channel bandwidth 5000. 
if you want to change to uplink also you can use 5000 then use get space dot space channel band again st space cell then deblock the proxy values and get the updated proxy value list if you want to know the important major function features you will use get space dot space feature it will provide the result of wcdma session continuity rbs event stream time and phase sync vswf supervision tma support those features if you want to get the license status you will use inv command it will provide you the list of licenser uploaded for every features in the rbs If you want to get the synchronization status, you will use get space sync. It will provide the complete synchronization status about the RBS. Here, um, 0 indicates unknown mode, 1 startup mode, 2 for locked mode, 3 for holdover mode, and 4 for free running mode, 5 for failed mode, 6 for loss of tracking mode, and 7 for not applicable. For the proxy value 114, if the admin status is 1, that is unlocked, and available status is 2, that is failed. 0 indicates failed, 1 for degraded, 2 for loss of tracking, 3 for OK, and 5 for reference path failed B, 6 for not reliable, and 7 for low quality. If the available status is 2, which means it was failed. For the proxy value 960, the availability status is 0, which means it is no status. If you want to get the NTP server details, you will use get space dot space NTP. NTP is nothing but network time protocol. It will provide the NTP server primary address as well as secondary IP address also. 172.30.108.217 is yes, NTP server IP address. Let's suppose if you want to know the time, you will use get space 1. It will provide the green wedge mean time details. And also it provides a NTP server primary secondary IP address also. Here 10.0.0.19 is a primary address. If you want to get the NTP configuration information, you will use this command NTP config space info. If you want to read the clock, you can use the uh, command read clock. It will provide the laptop time as well as e node B time as well. UE space print space hyphen admitted. This is a command used to check how many calls are in operation. By default, when there is a call in user equipment 1, BRS display 1 as well. If you want to know the subscriber details completely while in operation, you will use the command appsh space oper. It will provide the complete details about the subscribers while they are using calls. If you want to check the handover, you will use the command get space dot space term T R M. Get space dot space term, which is used for inter E node B connection information for X2 handover. Whereas get space dot space relation, which is used for intercell information for X2 handover. Get space dot space external, this is for E node B information for handover. If you want to know the IP address, you can use get space dot space IP address. It will provide complete IP address details like um, IUB IP details, OEM IP details, control plane, user plane, all those things it will provide. 
if you want to check the wind up ap um, is 10.0.0.163 Station IP is 4.2.0.18 and MME IP address is 4.2.0.32. If you want to check how many times the RBS is restarted by using this command CABR, it will provide the complete node restart details.